Hello, grade 11 students. Welcome back to a new lesson, Writing 8A. We are using our student book, page 117, Task A and B. The objectives of today's lesson are 1. To analyze organizational features of a letter of complaint. 2. To compose a letter or an email of complaint. Let's look at these pictures. What do you think our lesson will be about today? So looking at these pictures, you can see a plane, lions, giraffe, elephants, zebra. Okay, and there is here last minute safari deal. So, so what is it about? Yes, maybe it's about having a vacation. Yeah, where? And a safari trip? Good. Okay. Then, look at this guy. How does he look? He looks, yes, he looks upset, maybe, or dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. Maybe dissatisfied with the trip. Yes, true. That's why here you can see that there is a complaint form. Yeah, so he is writing a letter or an email of complaint. Yeah, true. Maybe he is uh, dissatisfied with the trip. That's good. Okay, let's have our book page 117. Look at the text. So, you can tell from the layout of the text that it's going to be a letter or an email. Yes, and as we have said earlier, it's going to be a complaint letter or email. Read the text and answer the following. We are going to use a map key strategy here. So we have the keys here and the codes here. You are going to underline the sender and then the receiver, put it into a blue square and then highlight in green the purpose of this letter. And then you will highlight in yellow what went wrong during this trip. Then circle the linkers and what action is requested through this letter strike it through okay remember dear uh, students that you can stop the video at any time take your time thinking doing the exercise and then you can play it back at any time you want okay so the center of uh, the email or the letter would be here, yes. So the sender is Marcus Meridian, good. The receiver or the recipient of this letter or email. Yes, dear sir or madam. Then the purpose of this letter. What do you think is the purpose? Yes, it's, it is stated from the first sentence, I'm writing to complain about this safari package tour. Very good. What do you think went wrong during this tour? You will find that in paragraph 2 and 3, correct. So what went wrong in this trip? Let's have a look. So, firstly, we had booked an all-inclusive package, but there were additional costs involved. The package clearly stated we could or we would receive complimentary transfer, but we were expected to take a taxi to the hotel. Good. In addition, we were told by the travel agent who booked our tour that March was a great time of the year to see a variety of wildlife. This turned out to be untrue as it was a rainy season and as a result we were unable to see many of the animals. That's really sad. And in paragraph 3, while there, I made several attempts to contact your agency to inform them of the situation. I was, however, repeatedly told that the employee who handles complaints was unavailable and that she should contact me in due course. She unfortunately neglected to do so. So here, there is no wonder that this guy was upset 
and dissatisfied with the trip because of the things that went wrong during his trip. Okay, so what do you think he is requesting now? What does he request? Yes, he is entitled to a full refund because of all these circumstances or the bad situation he was in. Very good. Now let's circle the, the linkers used here in this letter. Okay, so he, the writer made use of firstly, however, in addition, as a result, why there, all in all. So the question we ask here, what is a complaint letter? It is basically a letter in which you are telling a recipient that you are dissatisfied or upset with a certain situation or a service. A letter of complaint is composed of specific parts that are put into a specific way. So let's get right into it. First of all, you are starting your letter with a greetings, like here, dear sir or madam, when you don't know the person you are writing to. And then you are having paragraph one, the reason for writing the letter. Paragraph two, reasons why the holiday is spoiled. And then paragraph three, what makes things worse? And in paragraph four, the proof that the holiday didn't go as promised. And at the end, you are putting your closing and your signature. Let's move on now to task A1, page 117. Read the text again and answer the following. So each of the following statements corresponds to a paragraph in the email. Write the numbers from 1 to 4 in the boxes provided in this paragraph the writer. So here you can go back to the previous slide and find out in which paragraph the statement is mentioned. A. The writer outlines the problems he experienced. So, it was mentioned in paragraph 2. Good. B. He mentions when the incident took place. So, in which paragraph he is setting the ground or the background for the incident. Yes, it's in paragraph 1. C. Warns of possible consequences. Yeah, that was at the end in paragraph 4. And D. Expresses what steps he took when the problem arose. That was mentioned in paragraph? Yes, paragraph 3. Which paragraph he explains why he is writing this letter? That was pretty easy. Yes, it's in paragraph one. So he mentioned the purpose right from the start. And in F, asks for specific action to be taken. Yeah, that was at the end in paragraph four. Part two of task A. Read the following statements and tick the ones that apply to the email. The writer, uses a formal greeting and closing. Yes, true. He avoids using the first person. Mm -hmm. Is that true? No. Of course. C. Uses firm but polite language. Yeah. So, a complaint letter is a very formal letter in which you can use firm about polite language. C. Explains his complaints clearly and justifies them. Sure, that's all a complaint letter about. E. Uses appropriate set phrases and linking words. Absolutely. F. Makes use of abbreviations and short forms. We were saying that a complaint letter is a very formal letter. So, do you think that it has abbreviations and short forms? Of course not. Okay, now we move on to task B, page 117. 
Now let's have some imagination. You are planning for next holidays. You saw the following advertisement. You called the agency and then everything was ready for the best week of your life. So this is the place you are going to. It's a very luxurious hotel. And this is the advertisement. But when you got there, you were very disappointed with the services of the hotel. So what do you think has happened there? Look at the pictures and try to find out what were your expectations and what were the facts. So it's very clear from the pictures that you had very bad circumstances. So let's see what are the things you were promised. So you were promised a full board luxury suit. And then you found out that there is a filthy small room and the air conditioner is out of order. You were promised a new five star hotel. But the hotel turns out to be still under construction and renovations. You were promised a free access to the swimming pool, but you find out that the pool is closed and empty. You were also promised a variety of luscious food and breakfast with lots of options, but it's only toast is always being served in the breakfast. So all these facts make you for sure want to claim your rights. Okay, so let's have a look at the components of the letter again. So the very first beginning, you start with the greetings. Dear sir or madam, if you don't know their names or dear manager, if you want. Then in paragraph one, why you're writing the email or the letter? So mention the reason for writing specific information about the service, including exact dates where and when you get it. Example, I'm writing to express my strong, extreme or total dissatisfaction or disappointment or dismay at or with. Paragraph two and three, you need to mention what went wrong the reasons for complaint. So here you put the complaint plus the consequences, the reasons or the justifications. And they need to be pretty good ones so that you convince the recipient that you went through the worst vacation of your life. Then express why the advertising for vacation was misleading. You were promised something and then when you went there, you found out something else, totally different. Then use linkers, firstly, furthermore, to make matters worse. What is more, in addition, last but not least, as a result, therefore, consequently. The next part is paragraph four. What is requested? How do you want them to solve this problem? So here you need to say clearly what you want the agency to do. For example, I feel entitled to a partial or a full refund in addition to an apology for the inconvenience caused. Or you can say, as you can imagine, I'm extremely upset. I insist on a full refund or compensation for the annoyance and discomfort I suffered. So here you need to make up your mind depends on the situation, either you are going to ask for a total refund or a compensation, maybe another trip for the same place or another place. B, you need also to state further action that you will take if your demands are not met. Example, I hope that I will not be forced to take further action. Now we come to the closing or to the ending of this 
email. So here you can state, for example, I would appreciate, I, I would appreciate it if you could look into this matter as soon as possible. Okay, so here you, you need to tell the recipient that you are expecting a reply from them. Or you can say, I look forward to receiving a prompt reply. And then at the end, you are going to sign off your email or letter. Here, please make sure it's very important not to get mixed through these two expressions. Yours sincerely, you write, you write it if your letter starts with Dear Mr. Smith, when you are specifying the recipient. And if you are not specifying the recipient, you don't know the name, like we have here, dear sir or madam, you need to put yours faithfully, then sign your name. Okay, so I hope this would be a good example for you to write your own complaint letter. Please do so and share it with your teacher. So now we come at the end of our lesson. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching and see you next time in the next video.